So welcome to day six of our challenge and just start to move from the waist. So if you haven't already, then check out the intro video that will give you much more information about what we're doing, why, and go through some of the specific points that we'll use later, but it's fine just to follow. It's all pretty easy. So as you're swinging now, bring your intention into your mind. So the purpose of this is just to experience shifting your state. So notice how you feel. How did you feel before you started this just 30 seconds ago? And take that time just to register at some point at the end or during the day, how it feels when you shift your state. Okay. And then from here, we're just going to simply reach up. Because one of the things we really want to create in the body is space. When we've got space in the body, we've got choice. When we narrow down and get restricted through stress or anger, frustration, sadness, whatever it is, we everything contracts, the whole body contracts. So just soften the wrist and then reach up, let yourself go just side to side, opening up the sides of the body. And then from here, reach up and then on an out breath, just relax forward. And you can do this on a, on a chair. If standing isn't available to you, you can just put your legs straight, soften down, feel that opening down the back of the legs. Now let your feet just sink into damp earth. It doesn't matter how far you are. You might you might just be here with the arms dangling, the head's heavy. It's absolutely fine. Have that sense of right from the heels, up the legs, down the spine. You're just lengthening. Breathe out. Give your head a shake and a nod. Take a deep breath out. If you want to, you can just walk the legs by bending one knee, the other, snake the spine. Just let some easy movement come in. And then always at the end of an out breath, just sink to that still point. Let your face hang, let your jaw relax, just open up the body. Breathe out. Also, when we're here, we're letting the blood come to the brain. And when the blood's it, especially in the forebrain, that's when the body gets the OK signals. We can lose up to 80% of the blood in the brain when we go into stress, depending on how bad your stress is. And that's when we go into automatic pilot. We go to what we know, to how we know how to behave, to feel what's familiar. So just let the blood come to the brain now. Bend the knees and just roll yourself up gently all the way up. Just watch your spine opening up so let your head come up last bring the hands behind the back squeeze the shoulder blades together just let the spine come forward gently we're not throwing it forward too much just gently forward draw the belly in slightly to support the spine just take the arms away look up breathe in as you breathe out stick your tongue out your intention is to create an upgraded version of you in this 15 minutes to shift your state to one that's happier, more peaceful, more alive, awake, alert. Get your tongue out on the out breath. One more. Lift the arms away from you. Feel that opening in the chest. And then just let go of the arms. Swing the arms. Just release that. And then from here, all you're going to do is just take your legs a little wider and just simply just take one arm up, just move over. If you want to bend the knees slightly, do so. Really simple, just make some space. And when we're working with the side of the body, you open up that spleen energy pathway that just really connects you with those energies that no joy at a deeper level. It'll help to 
strengthen your immune system, boost your immune system a little bit. Just open up those pathways side to side. So just some really simple exercises, postures, just to open up the body. Just bring in the hands around the back again. Look up and release that. Okay. Let's give that a shake. And then just take two fingers. I like to use the middle finger, just support it by the pointer finger. And you just all the way underneath the ridge of the skull there, just press in and circle. So starting at the ear, you press in and up as if you want to put your hand underneath the skull and circle and then go to the adjacent spot and circle. And this is just a lovely way to release the points underneath there to any tension that gets bottleneck there. Press in and up. You'll keep going. You'll go over that ropey tendon. And you'll get to the center of the head. So you just press in a few little circles, go to the adjacent spot, press in and up a few little circles, and then do that on the other side. So you press in and up circle, just releasing underneath the base of the skull there, all those points. Relax the jaw, breathe. Watch you're not frowning. Often when we're thinking and doing something, you can frown and that sort of crunches up all your energy, constricts it. So keep smiling, keep breathing deeply and you'll keep everything open, spacious. Okay. And once you've done that, let's give that a shake. And then bringing the fingers onto the forehead, just smooth across to the temples, just opening out the scalp. So it's as if you're really raking the scalp open. It should feel nice all the way. Deep breaths. And the back of the neck. Okay. Shake that off and let's sit down and just go to that tapping sequence. So tapping on the points. Again, these are all in the intro video. If you want to go through that at some point, just learn the points. And everything we do on all of these days, every everything that we've done all week is to bring the body into that state where it feels safe enough to let go of what it knows and to shift the state. Because whenever we go into that reactive state, we're in a place that we know we've been here before. We've been this angry, this frustrated, this sad. We've lost our confidence and, it, and it's so familiar and it's a familiar way of responding or reacting to things. And when when we're in that state, everything in your body says, just don't change, you know this, stay here, let's just get through this. And this is about, let's not get through, let's reach our potential, let's open up. How, how can you change this state so you're not trapped with, this is just who I am, this is just what I do. You give yourself a chance to have choice. And the best way to do this is with these somatic practices. And even now, as we're tapping, you're just giving your body the OK signals. That it's OK to calm down, to soften. And when you tell your body, your body feels safe, then it has choice. OK, so now as you're tapping, bring to mind an upgraded version of you. So what's you feeling happier, stronger, more confident? Let your, let your imagination go and breathe it into your body, tap it into your body. What does it feel like when you feel really expansive? Knowing that life is working for you, really knowing, really believing that good things can happen today. 
all that potential out there, there's no reason whatsoever why you couldn't be taken by surprise today. And when we open ourselves up, we're opening ourselves to things that are already there. Possibilities that we might miss when we're closed down, when we're stressed, when we're not expecting anything good to come our way. We're not expecting to feel good. So open up that possibility now. What does it feel like just to stretch yourself a little? Notice a space in your body, in your torso, in your limbs. Smile. Notice how that feels. And as you tap, you're tapping that in. Relax the tongue on the base of the mouth. Open your heart, soften your belly. So all the signals when you're soft, easy, relaxed. Get used to stopping during the day and breathing deeply and allowing your body to soften. So you get into new habits of feeling just that little bit more spacious, easy. What does it feel like to really expect the best out of life, to see the best in people, in situations? How does it feel to really get behind yourself and change your state when you really need it? Because often we look for that in somebody else or something else to change this way we're feeling, to do something. So what does it feel like when you can really do it for yourself and let that confidence flood into your body that you have control here? When you get to the top of your head, just release that. Relax the hands down. Smile, breathe. And just take in the good. So that sense of allowing this feeling to sink into your bones. So whenever you feel good, Take that moment to really acknowledge it because that's when it holds for longer in the body. Really acknowledge the feeling. Have a sense of gratitude. Gratitude is that you're already in that place of receiving. When you say thank you, you've already received. So what does that feel like just to repeat that in your body? Thank you, thank you, thank you. So let there be space in the torso, space in the legs, space in your arms, space in your hands, your feet, the throat, space in your head. Breathe into that and let all those spaces be filled with a sense of wonder, peace, gratitude, joy. Notice where your mind is now. Notice 
And if you've wandered, it's absolutely fine. The moment you realize that you've wandered, you're already present. So breathe out, empty your body, take a deep breath in and direct your thoughts back to feeling good. Direct your thoughts back into your body. How do you feel? How can you just turn up the notch right now and feel that little bit more of the good stuff? And then just relax into your sitting bones as you open your eyes. Just take a look around the space. Let everything look sharper. And if you're in a great place now, which I really hope you are, tap it in. If you feel, sometimes you know you can feel a little bit emotional uh, or if you're fe still feeling a little bit tired, then don't tap it in. You want to tap in things that you want to keep in your body. So tap the third eye is another little tool just to breathe. Whenever you're feeling good, whenever you catch yourself in that place, tap it in because this is the first point on the bladder energy pathway that goes right down into the nervous system. This is a great way to reprogram, to hold a feeling and release that so thank you for joining me give us a thumbs up make a comment please let us know how you're getting on share it with at least one other person and if you do those things we will put you in for our prize draw to win a coaching call the free coaching call if you do that for seven days then we will enter you in for the prize draw for a year's free membership. And we're not going to be drawing until the beginning of May. So there's time to do the seven days wherever you're at now. If you've just joined us today, then follow, follow the seven days. Enjoy it. Just have that experience of changing your state. Pop your name on our mailing list and we've got lots of free content. And check out our membership. So thank you for joining us. Have a great day.